So the next series in the journey in the power sequence is the opening series. And it sounds just like it's designed to be. We're going to open up through the hits. So Mallory, we just finished with bow pose. So come into, we're going to take half pigeon on your back. Now this is especially good if you have like, it hurts your knees when you go into pigeon. So the option is on your back and take your ankle and press it against your thigh or your knee there. Good. And then you can interlace your hands behind your thigh and hug your thigh towards your chest. And then spread your toes and your feet. So that's an option, right? And then you would just switch sides and take pigeon with the other foot down and then switch the ankles. So then now let's transition and show pigeon coming forward on your knee. So after boat, we'll transition to a downward facing dog. Yeah, and then take your right knee to your right wrist for half pigeon. Now Mallory's super flexible, so her shin is at, at 90 degrees on the mat. I am not like that. My shin's more like at a 45. So yeah, don't try to get it right and have it look a certain way. Like everybody's different. And uh, yes, one option is just to come up onto your fingertips and just lengthen your spine and reach up towards the ceiling throughout your head. Okay. Another option is to bring your chest down towards the yoga mat. You can come onto your forearms. And then another option from here is you can stack your fists and make a pillow and rest your forehead. You can use a block. And then you can also extend all the way out, reaching your arms in front of you and bringing your chest all the way down to the mat. As far as the back half of your body goes, you have options with your feet as well. So right now Mallory has the top of her foot pressed into the mat. You can activate the back of your leg and you can tuck your toes underneath. Yeah, then press the heel of your foot in towards your body. So those are the options with your feet and your upper torso and your arms. Okay, let's go into double pigeon. So Mallory, walk your hands back, press your chest up. Yeah, and however you get there, just swing your back leg around and place your ankle on top of your knee. And it doesn't, again, have to look like anything. Sometimes on my side, my knee's really high. You have a block, you can always take, take a block, a pillow, a blanket, grab something and stick it underneath your knee or your thigh for some support. Yeah, Mallory also has another option. She just naturally went and let, if you can't stack it, just let the foot rest in front. Yeah, sit up straight. Yeah, another option, just like before, you can fold forward and half pigeon, walk your fingertips down and support yourself, bring the floor up to you. And I always like to just tuck my chin to my chest here and just drop in. Yeah, double pigeon, that's what it looks like. And from there, the transition is we come into half pigeon, we'll go into the other side. I'll just swing my leg back around and then recreate it on this side. So again, you have all those options you had before and just feel what's possible on this side in your half pigeon. Okay, so Mallory is letting her chest just press down towards the floor. All 10 fingers are spread wide for support. Okay. Double pigeon. So Mallory, take, her, take your right ankle and stack it on top of your left knee. Or you have those options. Have a block for support. And she has another option. This is really great. It lifts your, by placing a block or a pillow underneath your sacrum or your butt, it lifts your hips up. Right now, Mallory tried to fold forward here. And that gives her access, lets her lengthen her spine. Good. Okay, now we're going to come into frog. So frog, um, we recommend, I like to do this because the floor can be really hard on my knees. I automatically take my yoga mat, you can either fold it in half or roll the sides up. Or you can just do what Mallory's doing, just come right into frog. And what you wanna do, we'll, we'll work it from your feet. Have your feet flexed, so that's the foundation. Yep, and then press your hips towards the orange wall. So Mallory's pressing her hips towards the orange wall. Yeah, and then Mallory, you're gonna lengthen your spine, reach the crown of your head forward. And she has options, right? She's on her forearms. Again, your block is always available. You can use your block for support to rest your head. You can press up into your hands. So really whatever feels good to you, like that's how the pose is gonna feel for you. So you get to totally explore any options in frog.
So another option, if this doesn't work for you and your knees hurt a lot, let's take frog on your back. So now you go ahead and press yourself up and then come on, recline onto your back. Good. And you're gonna lift your palms up towards the ceiling and then bring your knees up into the air and recreate that frog. So lift your feet up off the floor and then open up your ankles. Yeah. And then press your palms up into the air. You can also do what Mallory's doing for some support. You can rest your palms on the inside of your thighs or your knee. So it's the same pose that she was doing before on the floor. It's the same benefit, just a different option for you to have. So that's the opening series of Journey into Power. So now is an opportunity, roll out your mat and let's practice the opening series of Journey into Power. And we're gonna start with doing um, the series on your back on one side, and then we'll transition and do the series on the floor. And you do whatever feels best to you at home. Okay, Mallory, so let's take pigeon, half pigeon on your back. So go ahead and recline down and just place your ankle on top of your knee. Yeah, and then press your knee away from you. Half pigeon. Good, now the option for double pigeon on your back Mallory, interlace your fingers behind your thighs and she lifted her heel up off the floor. There's an option for double pigeon on your back. Yeah, and then flex your feet. Good. And Mallory, take frog on your back. And so she's widening the thighs and she, Mallory, press your hand against your thighs. And then again, true north in your feet, flex your feet. Good. Now we'll transition to half pigeon on the floor. So you can transition, you can rock and roll, just come onto your side, sit up, and just bring your right knee forward and your left leg behind you. So again, the option is to press up and through your fingertips. And now another option, you can lower your chest down towards your thigh. You can support yourself with your fists, a block, a pillow, you can extend all the way out. And then don't forget about your feet. So Mallory currently has her toes tucked underneath with the heel forward. You can soften and release the top of your foot down to the mat. Okay. Now you double pigeon, swing your back heel around and place your ankle on top of your knee. An option, sit up straight. You have the block, a pillow, something at home nearby to give you some support underneath your thigh or your knee. And then fold. another option is to fold forward, bring your chest forward over your shin, and frog. So go ahead and take your knees wide, and then press your hips toward the wall behind you, and reach the crown of the head forward. And again, Mallory, she immediately went to the option you can use your, come to your forearms, Take the block and support your head or any pillow or something you have nearby at home to help support you. Yeah, and that, that concludes the opening series of the Journey to Power sequence. So go ahead and give it a try and we look forward to seeing you practice that in class.